Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 28th of 2023. I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. I hope it will bless you as you listen today. This word, once again, is quite lengthy and reads as a letter from the Lord. Without introduction, I'll get right into it. This word today is titled, Abundant Finances Shall Be Released. I'll begin by reading scripture. Jeremiah 3, 10 through 14. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it in distant coastlands. He who scattered Israel will gather them and will watch over his flock like a shepherd. For the Lord will ransom Jacob and redeem them from the hand of those stronger than they. They will come and shout for joy on the heights of Zion. They will rejoice in the bounty of the Lord, the grain, the new wine, and the oil, the young of the flocks and herds. They will be like a well-watered garden, and they will soar out no more. Then maidens will dance and be glad, young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. I will satisfy the priests with abundance, and my people will be filled with my bounty. This scripture reference once again is referring to Israel. However, it is a promise that exemplifies the heart of God to bless his people, to cause them to prosper, and to be great in the land. I'll begin the word. Hear the word of the Lord. Obey the command given. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Run the race to receive the prize. Keep sight of the goal set before you to reach the mark of the high calling. I am establishing you into the ministry prepared for you, says the Lord. You are in transition between moves. This is a time of new beginnings. I am setting you free, releasing you from holds that have held you bound. You are being freed up for the position of ministry prepared for you. The joy of the Lord is coming. You will rejoice in the workings that take place. I am setting you into your community. I will establish you. You will see how I do it. I have not revealed the details to you, but you will see how it is done. I will give you a heart for this place, a desire to participate in community affairs. I will establish you amongst the people, for I am establishing my people into places of influence. I am rooting them into communities to participate in its affairs and to bring the influence of the Lord into its activities. I will open the doors. I will make the way straight. I will fulfill the desire of your heart to belong, to be a part of the lives of the people of the community. You will be rooted in and have great influence amongst the people. Do not fear. Keep your heart pure and contrite before the Lord. Wait in His presence. Receive His healing. It is a necessary step in my plan, says the Lord. Your heart shall be changed. Your desire will be to minister to the lost, the poor, the outcast. You will be able to pour yourself out as a drink offering, for I am working a great work within you. Do not be anxious, for I am working in the hearts of my people. I am putting a vision into their hearts, and they will run with the work I show them. 
In this day, I am doing a great work among the nations. I am taking down the high places and raising up the low. I am building a roadway through the wilderness, a way where there is no way. The way will be made ready for the king, a highway to holiness. Take heart, you who labor for the Lord, for he is coming, and he will make all things new. He will set things aright. Everything will fall into its rightful place. I am bringing in the lost, roping them in, and they will be led by the power of my Spirit into the household of God, says the Lord. I am setting things up, preparing a place for each one coming in. I am establishing my kingdom in your midst. Rest in me. Do not become anxious, for in due time all things will be worked out, and you will come into agreement. For I am speaking to my people in this day. I am ordering their footsteps aright. I have prepared a place for those who seek me. They will be put into place in my plan and function in full capacity. Do not fear, do not tremble, for I have gone ahead of you, and I am opening doors that no man is able to close. I will guide and direct you into the work I have prepared for you. Great joy is coming to the household of God. Great rejoicing shall take place in her midst, for I am about to open the windows of heaven and release a downpour of blessing. Every need shall be met, every desire shall be fulfilled. I am ironing out the details, says the Lord. I will open the door and you will walk into the place prepared for you. I am pressing in to take hold of that which shall be given unto you. I am arranging details of finances. Abundant finances shall be released unto you in this day, and they shall go forth to accomplish my will. There will be great measures of profits from the endeavor I am raising you up into. This shall be a work blessed of the Father. It will bear much fruit for the kingdom of God. It shall accomplish great things to further the work of the Lord. It shall reach far and wide to cover a large area of influence. I am faithful. I will fulfill my words spoken to you. I will lift you up and establish you upon the heights. You shall reign and rule over much. Your influence shall reach far and wide. In this day you will know that the Lord is God, that no one compares to him. He is great and his works are awesome. Wait on him. He will direct your path. Give and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken and running over. I am coming in power to those who wait upon me, says the Lord. I am reserving great wealth for those who steadfastly seek me. I will guide and direct those who put their trust in me. I am making a way where there is no way. I am softening the hearts of the people, removing the hardness of heart and replacing it with gentleness, love, and compassion. I will cause all things to work together for good for those who love me and are called of me. I will direct their paths and make the way straight for them to enter into fullness of life. You will see the turning of the tide, the hearts of men turned to the Heavenly Father. I will speak to them and instruct them in the way they must go. It is not far off when my hand of blessing shall be released upon those who have been faithful to hold on to my promises. 
As we can see in this word today, the Lord is once again sharing his heart to reach the nations with the gospel message, to establish his kingdom in the earth by expanding his household of believers. But in this word today, he is giving us some insight in how he will do this through his people. He is establishing us in our communities and placing us into a place of wealth and influence in these communities. He is telling us that we will have authority, that we will reign and rule with him in these places of influence, that we will bring the influence of the kingdom of God into our communities by being involved in their affairs. The Lord is encouraging us that he is going to release an abundance of blessing upon his people. All our needs will be met and we will have an overflow to use to minister to those around us. This is the heart of God, to bless his people and to use us in a powerful way to give leadership in the place of influence he establishes us in. The Lord is telling us he is opening doors for us and he is encouraging us not to be afraid, not to be anxious because he is doing the work. He is making this way where there seems to be no way. The Lord is ready to release his abundance upon those who are truly seeking him and his will in this day. This is the heart of our loving, awesome, heavenly Father. May we all catch the vision and run with it. My prayer today is that the Lord will begin to release his abundance upon each one of us, that our needs will be met, that we will receive the healing we need as well, and that we will function in full capacity with everything the Lord is giving us to expand his kingdom in the earth. Be encouraged on this day. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all. In Jesus' name, bye for now.